In this relaxing watercolor tutorial, we'll be creating a monochrome forest by applying the wet on wet and the wet on dry technique. Creating gradients is another technique we'll be using. Let's remind ourselves of the beauty of nature while painting this monochrome forest. For this painting, you'll need a square shaped piece of paper, masking tape in a round size 8 and a bigger round brush, like a size 20. But anything similar is perfectly fine too. Since this piece is a monochrome painting, we'll be using several shades of just one color. You can pick any color you like, but I'm using indigo blue in this tutorial. Start by applying the masking tape on the edges of the watercolor paper. And make sure the masking tape sticks well to the paper. Let's get started with the background of the painting by wetting the watercolor paper with clean water and your big round brush. We'll be applying the wet on wet technique since we'll be using wet paint on a wet background. Now pick up a medium shade of your paint and start painting the background in circular motions from the outside to the inside. Make sure you don't use too much paint in the middle of the painting. Use a lighter shade when you come closer to the center. Apply extra paint to the edges of the paper to create a darker shade. Paint the first layer of trees with a light shade of your paint when your background is still wet. So this is the wet on wet technique. Apply light pressure to your size 8 round brush when you drag your brush to the center of the paper. To create a bottom view, all trees will have to point to the center of the painting, but they won't touch each other. All trees are broader on the bottom and skinnier at the tops. Now try to vary the shapes and sizes of your trees for a more realistic look. I painted about 10 trees on my first layer, but you can create as many as you like. Once your paint has dried, you can remove your masking tape. I had a great time painting this forest view, and I hope you did too. Thank you for taking the time to paint with me today again.